you run down each unit and tell you where you want to be improved, like defensive front, linebacker, defensive back, is going down each of those three? Yes. Uh, the defensive line, uh, we're really talking about uh, the points of emphasis that Coach Brown has is resetting the line of scrimmage. Um, winning the one-on-ones in the run game and be able to do a better job of transitioning from run to rushing the quarterback. Those are really the three areas that, that Coach Browning is talking about. Um, Coach Vick is all about violence and playing the game faster. Setting edge, doing a great job as a six or a nine technique. Um, again, and a lot of that mindset is we have to continue to play the run better. And then as we transition from the RPOs and some of those runs to play action of how we transition, get on edges and be able to rush the quarterback. Uh, at inside linebacker, we have to play uh, faster. We have to make an impact and we have to be more aggressive. Those are the three things that, that we've really talked about. And on the defensive backfield is we have to finish plays better and we have to communicate. And finishing plays for those guys are, you know, when the ball's in the air, the moment of truth, um, you know, finishing a tackle on the sidelines. You know, all those different things. So those are the four things um, or the, the four units that we've, we've talked about and, and what we're really honing in every day because you can't, you can't focus on everything every day. But those are the points of emphasis that we talk about as a defense. So what constitutes a good practice for you during the spring? Um, you know, I think it constitutes good practice is, first of all, they come out with great effort um, or you come out with great effort and they walk on the field with good communication, you know, and guys that – that they have the energy, because in spring sometimes we, uh, you lose a day if you don't come out with the, with the appropriate concentration and the effort. So I think any time that we, we leave the practice field and I felt we played with great effort and I felt that we concentrated well, I think that's a good day. So how did they stack up the last couple of days coming back from that break? I think they've been, they've been you know, really no different. Um, you know, we, we kind of brought them in uh, slowly on Monday, Tuesday, uh, you know, did some stuff on the field for conditioning and then Wednesday. So we got their legs back a little bit before we had that first practice. So it wasn't like they came back on Monday and started. Anybody on defense really catch your eye? Um, you know, until I watch the film, sometimes it's a little bit hard. Uh, you know, uh, in, these, in these settings, um, as you guys have probably noticed, the, the, the style of practice is significantly different. You know, we have a lot more uh, what you know, up on the reader board is PTG is play the game. You know, so there's a lot more situational things. Uh, the sticks are out there, first, second, third, fourth down. So there's a lot, there's a lot more going on. So uh, right now I'm not scripting anything. So we're both Spav and I are calling it as if it's a game. What, why the change? Uh, I think there's a couple reasons. I think the, the flow of the game, I think, uh, giving the kids the opportunity to play more football. Um, and that, again, that probably sounds silly. Of course, they're playing football. But in scripted environments, first down, second down, third down, when there's no consequence, good or bad, on the result of a play, you become numb to the result of the play. And you just go, well, it doesn't matter what happened. Well, an explosive run on first down, and we move the ball 47 yards, and we have to get lined up again, and tempo happens, and now we went from the middle of the field to the high red. That's, in our opinion, that's, that's kind of giving the kids an opportunity to play the game more. You get into the rhythm, you get into the substitutions with the iron cross, the communication, so um, I think that's primarily the reason why. Because there's so much tempo these days? Is that what you're well, there's so much tempo. I think there's a lot of things. There's so much tempo. Uh, the game is so much different than a scripted practice. So let's try to uh, let's try to get into those those game like situations and do that more frequently. So that's how we play football instead of in a more because a controlled setting is, is not realistic anymore. DB Miles Williams, uh, we were talking to him the other day, and he was excited about his finish and how he closed the season. What have you seen from him this spring? We were uh, really uh, pleased with how Miles finished as well. He had the opportunity to come in and play some nickel, and he came in and did a, a very, very good job and kind of out of his natural position. Um, and he's continued to make steps. Uh, he plays with really good effort. You know, he's a high energy guy, and, uh, you know, I really feel comfortable. He knows exactly what he's doing out there, and we just got to keep giving him more reps, and he, he needs to keep making plays. Ask Coach uh, Wilcox about Little John. He seems to be continuing to get better. How, how much has he lined up with what you guys evaluated and saw on film from him? He's, he's played well, uh, you know, in terms of what we're asking him to do. Uh, he's still extremely um, early in his development. Uh, but, you know, if he keeps the, the mentality that he has and the effort in which he's, he's uh, playing, uh, we're excited where, where he's trending. What are the things that he's shown you so far that you, can, you say we can build on that? Uh, he can stay close to people in coverage. You know, I think that's, that's the number one thing. 